Good morning, PHS. Today is February 16th, 2017. I'm Devin Gritton, and with me today is my guest anchor, Ian Arvison. Thank you for being here today, Ian. Thanks, Devin. I'm honored to be here. Well, PHS, there's a lot to get up to today, so let's get this show on the road. Starting off our week's show with your SRT meetings. Today we are having Bridge Bus in room 218, which is mandatory. Newspaper, you guys are meeting in room 120. Heart Club, you'll be meeting in the library during SRT. After school, the Robotics Club is meeting in room 141, and the Winter Winds, your group is meeting in the Music Wing at 3.30. Plymouth High School teacher Stephanie Wiesman was chosen by the student body as the PHS Teachers Credit Union. TCU, Teacher of the Month for January. She was nominated by the students for her positivity, caring for her students, and in creativity in developing her lesson plans. TCU generously provides $25 each month for the purchase of a gift certificate for our award winners. La Dessert Cafe provides four gourmet cupcakes for the winner as well. Thank you to both of our sponsors for your generosity and help with recognizing our PHS Teacher of the Month. Congratulations, Mrs. Wiesman. February is Teen Dating Awareness Month. More than one in 10 teens who have been on a date have also been in a physical abusive relationship with a boyfriend or girlfriend in the last year. Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month is a, nation's, a yeah. nationwide effort to raise awareness and protect teens from violence. You can make a difference by encouraging schools, community-based organizations, parents, and teens to come together to prevent teen dating violence. How can Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month make a difference? Well, use this month to raise awareness about teen dating violence and taking action towards a solution at home, while at school, and in your community. Next Friday, the PEA members will be hosting a port-a-pit a port chicken and bake sale right here at Plymouth High School. The fundraiser helps raise money for educational scholarships, the PEA awards each year to our graduating seniors. The chicken and bake sale will be in the main lobby from 3.15 p.m. to 5.30, and the chicken will cost $6.50 per meal. If you feel like treating your, your family to the dinner next Friday, you have to plan ahead because you will not be able to purchase the day of. Instead, you'll need to purchase tickets by contacting Mrs. Cryer. Just send her an email at lcryer at plymouth.k12.in.us if you are interested. Starting off our PTV Sports Show, let's check out what's on the Sports Rundown. And looks like there's only one thing going on, and that's Boys Sectional Swim and Dive at Warsaw. Please go out and support our swim team. Good luck, you guys! Last Friday night, the Pilgrims played their homecoming game against Warsaw. PTV's Brenna Dillard was courtside for the PTV, capturing all the action for you. The Rockies led by a point going into halftime, but they were outscored in the second half, 31 to 19. This loss puts the Rockies at 11 to 8 on the season and 2 to 5 in the NLC. Tomorrow night, Plymouth takes on the Huntington North right here at home. Last week, we had our annual Super Fantastic Pep Rally on Friday. PTV Ferno journalist Juan Garcia captured the sights and sounds. You may have seen his extended recap on YouTube. But did you make his special PTV recap? Let's take a look.
This past weekend, PTV photojournalist Matt Reisner and Juan Garcia got the chance to cover Notre Dame versus Florida State basketball. And let's just show you how close they got on all the court on the court to all the action. This video was captured by Juan Garcia, who was sitting on the edge of the court when nearly a fight broke out and unfolded next to him. That drama didn't stop Notre Dame, though. The unranked Irish, who had lost four of their last five games coming into the matchup against the 14th-ranked Semiels, had no problem taking care of business on Saturday. The Irish won game. The Irish won the game 84 to 72, and they improved their record to 19 to 7, while the Seminoles dropped to 21 to 5 on the year. A big shout out to Notre Dame Athletics for allowing PTV to cover the Irish this year. It's almost that time of the show, PTV trivia time. But before then, let's recap the previous week's question. The video was taken by PTV's photojournalist Juan Garcia. He captured Mr. Hatcher's room as they cashed in on their delicious prize of a huge bag of popcorn for winning the last week's trivia time question. The question, by the way, was what is the team who has the most Super Bowls? The answer is the Steelers. On the last show, you were asked your Super Bowl predictions. The two top closest to the actual score will win gift cards to Wings, etc. Let's take a back. Let's look back at what you had to say. The Patriots are going to win 28 to 21. Like, maybe like 32, 17. Falcons, 27, 24. Patriots. What do you think the score will be? 21 to 10. I would say it's the Patriots, 42. The Falcons, three. 34, 28. 43, 39. I've got the Atlanta Falcons winning 42 to 10. The Pats, I'm saying it's going to be 30 to 17. Falcons homie, 38, 12. For the Super Bowl, I think the Pats are going to win 41 to 7. So the Patriots, 62, 56. Yeah, I got Patriots, 46 to 30. Uh, Atlanta's going to win, <laughs> but I'm going to say Atlanta's going to win 35 to 21. The score will be 31 to 27. And the Falcons will win. 31-27 Falcons. I believe the Falcons will win. 24-17. Say the Patriots are going to win. 26-32. to 32. I believe the Falcons will win. 35-31. I think that the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. And the score is going to be 24-21. I think the Falcons will win. 50 50-22. Patriots are going to win 27-24. The Super Bowl score will be 31-27, to and Tom Brady and the Patriots will win. Patriots are going to win, and the score is going to be 40-30. to I think the Patriots are going to win 31-10. to As you might remember, the Super Bowl score was 34-28 to Patriots, and the top two winners were Mr. Coves and Yasma Yazin, who had randomly selected, and Hamza won a $15 gift card, and Mr. Coves cashed in on the $10 gift card. Congrats to both of our winners. Well, it's everyone's favorite portion of the show, PTV Trivia Time. Listen closely, because this week we're trying out something new. So instead of calling in your answer, we've decided to take emails instead of phone calls. Then the PTV crew will randomly choose from the emails received right after the show is over, and they'll pick a winner to the Trivia Time question. Teachers, thank you for bearing with us and tuning in as we try to iron out all the kinks. So, if you still want to play along, teachers simply just email ptv at phs at gmail.com with your answers. And we'll try this out to see if it helps the fairness of our PTV Trivia Time contest. Now, the question for this week is, what is the name of, the, of Batman's butler? If you know the answer, email phs at phs at gmail.com. Again, the question is, what is the name of Batman's butler? Teachers, if you want your class to play along, all you have to do is email ptv at phs at gmail.com with your answers. Good luck, everyone. Today for lunch, we are having beef tacos with cheese, chips, and salsa and corn, and of course, the fruit and veggie bar. Well, that's all that we have time for for you guys today. Thanks a lot for being my guest anchor, Ian. Sure thing, Devin. Thanks for having me. So long, PHS. Adios, PHS.